The massive breaking news coming from the world of football is that Liverpool and Manchester United are in talks involving Europe's biggest football clubs to join a new FIFA-backed tournament that would reshape the sport's global landscape. Sky News has learned the financiers are assembling a six billion dollar that equates to 4.6 billion pound funding package to assist the creation of what could become known as the European Premier League. Now more than a dozen teams from England, France, Germany, Italy and Spain are in negotiations about becoming founder members of the competition. According to insiders, other candidates including Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur and as many as five English clubs could sign up to join it, those being some of those clubs, with a provisional start date said to have been discussed as early as 2022. Now, sources said that FIFA, who are football's world governing body, had been involved in developing the new format, expected to comprise of up to 18 teams and involving fixtures played during the regular European season as well. The top place teams in the league would then play in a knockout format to conclude the tournament with prize money for the winners expected to be worth hundreds of millions of pounds each year. And one football industry figure said that a formal announcement about the plans was possible as soon as the end of this month. Although on Tuesday, a number of key details, including uh, the full list of participating clubs, had yet to be finalised. Uh, the plans could, in fact, still fall apart. Now, the source described it as potentially the most important development in world club football for decades. So, if you are just joining, as you can see some of the key points across the bottom of the screen, let's just recap uh, this news for you. So, it's Liverpool and Manchester United in talks with FIFA to join and set up this new European Premier League. Um, a start date is being discussed, but they're looking at 2022. Uh, FIFA have been involved in developing the new format, which uh, has fixtures being played throughout a regular football season, so a regular European season. I know they differ slightly across Europe. Um, FIFA um, and the UEFA have been contacted by Sky News and our colleague Mark Kleiman uh, broke the story and has been very much at the heart of this story that we are just bringing you right now. Let's let's speak to Mark. We have been breaking down some of these uh, key points, but what is your understanding of this and, and how it all came about and how quickly this is moving as well? Well, my, my understanding, Hayley, is that this plan has been under discussion for uh, many, many months and there is a uh, proposal to announce the key details as soon as uh, the end of this month, which uh, must mean that the discussions are at an advanced uh, stage. Now, the complexities of this project are enormous, not least because it does appear to have the endorsement and involvement of FIFA, the world football governing body, rather than its European counterpart, UEFA. And clearly one of the consequences if this European Premier League did get off the ground would be that it would completely uh, destroy the economics and the appeal of uh, UEFA's Champions League uh, competition. Now, the existing Champions League format uh, runs until 2024, and there uh, appears to be uh, a wide range of options about how to expand uh, and make uh, the Champions League even more financially attractive. Now, clearly, if Europe's leading clubs, uh, which I understand will include Liverpool and Manchester United, if they sign up to this new uh, project, if those teams are no longer part of the Champions League, then clearly that would have uh, a pretty disastrous impact on UEFA's flagship club uh, tournament. Now, my understanding about the details of the European Premier League are uh, that it would include up to 18 uh, teams. They would play in a round-robin format, probably in midweek uh, fixtures during uh, the European football uh, season with some form of knockout or uh, knockout format at the end of the uh, league season. So you're talking about potentially uh, a European uh, club football season comprising at least 34 uh, games, which would add significantly to the burden uh, on uh, English clubs in particular, given the size of the English uh, Premier League. I think that we can assume that that was one of the reasons why last week we saw in Project Big Picture uh, the proposal to reduce the number of Premier League teams uh, from 20 uh, to 18. 
uh, the finances behind this new pro project are very significant indeed. Now, my understanding is that uh, JP Morgan, the Wall Street bank, has been in discussions about providing uh, a debt package worth up to $6 billion. That would be about £4.6 billion pounds, uh, to fund the cost of launching uh, the new European uh, Premier League. That money will be repaid from future uh, broadcast income. Uh, I have to say there is some doubt, given uh, the economic environment uh, that is uh, facing Europe because of the coronavirus uh, crisis, there has to be some doubt about the optics of this new project, given that it would make uh, many of Europe's richest football clubs that much wealthier, particularly at the expense of their competitors in their domestic leagues. One thing I should clarify is that because this new European Premier League project is envisaged to be played during uh, the week, it wouldn't be a breakaway from domestic leagues. So, of course, over the years, there's been lots of talk about a European Super League replacing domestic European leagues. That's not my understanding of, of this current uh, project. As I say, there is a possibility that this could have been announced within the next few weeks. Uh, whether uh, us reporting on it before the key details are finalised has an impact on that uh, remains to be seen. But certainly these talks involving some of uh, Europe's top football clubs, including, as I say, Liverpool and Manchester United, these talks are certainly live. And one source told me today uh, that they have genuine momentum behind them. So it looks like Liverpool and Manchester United leading these talks. What do we know about five of the clubs from, from what we traditionally know as the top six from England and, and, and their involvement? What do we know about some of the other clubs? Sure. I mean, my understanding is, is that up to five English clubs would be involved. Um, that may not be five. It may be fewer than that. Um, clearly, we can only speculate about which member of the um, so-called big six would miss out. Um, my, my expectation would be that, that Manchester City would certainly be part of the new, uh, would be invited to be part of the new uh, league. Across Europe, you would expect uh, that Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid would be involved from Spain, uh, Paris Saint-Germain from France, uh, and then at least a couple of Italian clubs as well. It may be that there is a different, a slightly different structure with um, a, around a dozen founder shareholders of this new league, with the remaining clubs invited to join in a slight, on a slightly different, uh, under a slightly different status. Um, but these are some of the key details which have yet to be finalised and which we're not yet clear about. Mark, great work. Very interesting indeed. Thank you very much.